Say 2003 Infiniti i35. Picky one has these beautiful aluminum alloy rims here. Does ride on P215-55R17, so 17 inch alloy rims. It's kind of a beige exterior with a tan leather interior. As I mentioned this is a 2003 Infiniti i35, the 3.5 liter automatic. This particular one has about 98,000 miles, so it is fairly clean. Dual exhaust outlet down there. This is pretty nice, although I never really paid attention to them compared to the early Acuras of the 2000s. So, these really aren't my favorite cars in the world. The tires are brand new, and I do like the chrome around the windows. Adds a nice touch. Body cutter mirrors and door handles, of course. It's a halogen front headlamps and fog lamps. Just go ahead and jump inside this one. Just get a better view of the exterior first. That's better. See, this one does have a tan leather interior. With infinity door sills, wood grain accenting, and automatic driver and passenger side windows. This have memory seats as well, which is pretty nice. It's a full leather wrap steering wheel with uh, cruise control and uh, volume control. Electroluminescent gauges. It's an kind of all hard touch dashboard up here. And the hard touch does continue the entire, everything is hard touch, there's nothing really padded in here, but that's okay. This is an early infinity. Auto dim rear mirror with compass. Not a very nicely padded headliner, but the uh, visors are nice. Kind of the same mirror and visor design Honda used as well. Oh shit, handles are, aren't damped actually. But you do have a full power sliding tilting sunroof. With the controls and a little vanity light right here, which is nice. This one does have the optional Bose sound system with a 6 CD changer. Some storage in there. Get your hazards. I believe this is a 4 or 5 speed automatic. I think it's a 4 speed with overdrive. Cup holder assembly is broken, but you get the gist. And this wood graining is, is all just hollow. It's nothing, none of this is real. Dual stage heated seats for the driver and passenger. Very nicely padded armrest. That kind of cl comes out towards you. It's a little strange. I guess for adjusting. And then in there you get your uh, big deep storage console. Over here you get your power mirrors. To get your uh, automatic seat recall for the memory seats here. You can have one driver or, or two. Heated steering wheel in here, anti-theft system and gauge brightness. Get your automatic headlamps over here, return signals, and your intermittent speed wipers. As I mentioned, everything here is padded except for the upper door panel, which actually is, is a little bit padded. Nothing crazy though. You have a kind of a, a velvet A pillar with a uh, in pillars tweeter there. Sorry, I didn't know what I was going to say with that. So overall, it's a pretty nice, nicely appointed interior for a luxury car of the early 2000s. And the glove box is damped, not lined with felt or anything. So this kind of remind me of a Maxima of the time, or an Altima. Just a little fancied up. Let's go ahead and check out the back, shall we? Let's have a paint, uh, silver painted plastic door handle. And full power seats, of course. Door sills do continue into the rear. You have rear heated seats, which is a very rare option I haven't really seen. Full padded armrest and door panel up here. Upper door panel is nicely soft. Very good leg room and thigh support is actually pretty good for a sedan. Get a little grab handle back here, it seems kind of pointless. But you do have your very hollow sounding oh shit handles back here. Bit of view that dashboard. And these are very nicely appointed seats too. The leather feels very nice. Get a rear power outlet. And rear cup holders, which is kind of just like a storage tray as well. Some wood graining. Padded armrest, but the cup holders are in there. And no trunk pass through, surprisingly. Even the, uh, even the early 2000s Accords had that. This does have child seat anchors, and I do like the way they designed the leather with the ruffled look. Which is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice interior. Your Infinity logo back here, and the trunk is very generous. Let's have a trunk liner, I-35 mats, 60-40 split seating, and a nice wide opening height. It's always nice. 
you can see your subwoofer for the Bose sound system is back here. It's a pretty nice back seat. Let's go ahead and jump in. Like I mentioned, I do love these rims. And here's a 3.5 liter Nissan V6. Puts out pretty good power and gas mileage. It's a beautiful looking engine bay. It's a hood liner and hood struts. It's pretty nice. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my full tour on this 2003 Infiniti i35. If you have any questions as usual, please drop them below and I'll be happy to answer. And thanks for watching.